1983. An early warning system OCO I at the Central Command Post Serbrakov 15 reported the launch of intercontinental ballistic missiles from the US base. The siren screams like crazy. The machine shows 100% certainty of the United States missile attack. You have 40 minutes to respond. Shall we respond with the retaliatory missile attack? Something is wrong with it. But the 30-level verification confirms that it is a US missile, a nuclear missile. If I press the button, everything will be over. No, they can't have launched missiles from just one base. I reject the retaliatory attack. The information is false. The system failed. That's affirmative, under my responsibility. 2043. On September 26th, the most frightening sound is heard at a secret facility. That is the sound of an alarm signal. The Russian Early Launch Detection System records numerous missile launches from the United States territory. Neural networks conduct multivariate data analysis. A person is excluded from the decision-making chain of the retaliatory attack. The time of warhead delivery to targets on enemy territory has been reduced many times. Retaliation systems are put on alert in a matter of seconds. Retaliatory launch. The operation of the early warning system turned out to be false. The cause of the error was a global failure, which started the war that put an end to the history of human civilization. But, from this moment, Mike and we are still 23 years away. The prospect of being wiped out from the surface of the Earth seems so elusive today that there's no point in worrying about it. The omnipotent and merciless AI is a fiction that frightens not children, but adults by pictures like the classic Terminator and even by Marvel's Avengers. Simon, stop. What the hell is going on with my devices? Suspicious activity. Systems reloading. The study of AI is a fairly new area of research. For a short period of time, scientists have managed to pass an impressive and still quite safe path. Despite the ancient Greeks' interest in creating an alternative to Homo sapiens intelligence, a serious consideration of the solution to this mystery was given only in the 1950s due to technological progress. There were quite many prerequisites. The society has sufficiently advanced in the research of the human brain and neural networks. The first experiments in the development of programmable machines were successful, and science fiction writers headed by A. Asimov described the robots of the future in their books. His legacy of The Three Laws of Robotics is priceless. 1937 the first breakthrough. A universal Turing machine. 1954. The U.S. researcher A. Newell decided to create a program to play chess. 1961. The English professor Michi described a mechanism of 300 matchboxes that could learn to play playing tic-tac-toe. These small steps later led to the creation of many machines that understand human speech and maintain conversations on specific topics and robots that play board games. Technologies have been developed, but still there have been more questions than answers. In 1956, the founders of cybernetics gathered in the United States to discuss the possibility to implement the Artificial Intelligence Project. To tell the truth, the participants of that workshop had a vague idea of what AI was and what a person might need for it. Nowadays, it's difficult to imagine a world without a test tube intelligence. AI has been used in so-called expert systems since the last century. This worked perfectly and continues working in economic forecasting, medical examination, and troubleshooting of technical devices. In 1997, the supercomputer won a chess game against Garry Kasparov, and in 2019, the OpenAI computer program confidently defeated a world champion team in the Dota 2 computer game. While we are waiting for the appearance of the mystical omnipotent AI, it has already got very close to us. AI is so organically integrated into the world around us that many people do not even realize it. Hey Siri, Who do you think these messages are addressed to? 
certainly not to a charming girl named Siri or a mysterious Alexa. The voice assistant is an example of AI technologies that everyone understands. This is not artificial intelligence in its pure form, but only the service based on it. AI algorithms are everywhere, from predicting a text to using an autofocus camera. Someone sends messages to friends for us, looks for a movie to watch in the evening, and searches for the prices of tickets to the Dominican Republic. At the same time, random people are unlikely to positively answer the question if there is artificial intelligence in their smartphones. The assistant is able not only to save users time performing a number of actions, but also to literally save lives. Recently, a teenager was driving his Jeep when he suddenly realized that he was falling off a cliff. His car broke through the ice and began to sink fast. The guy cannot find his phone and desperately shouted, Siri, call 911. The rescue team immediately arrived and saved the guy within minutes. Well, your story is funny and all, but still, Simon, what the hell happened to my devices? Sorry, I wasn't able to find anything. Well, okay then, go on. Shall I continue? Society should be sincerely grateful to progress because AI-based services are used in medical projects. They can predict and diagnose diseases with greater speed and accuracy than many medical professionals. Path AI is developing machine learning technology to make more accurate cancer diagnoses. Analytic analyzes unstructured medical data, x-rays, blood tests, ECGs, genomics, and patients' medical history. Beth Israel Deaconess uses microscopes with advanced AI to diagnose potentially fatal blood diseases at a very early stage. Combining AI, cloud, and quantum physics, Extalpi's ID4 platform can predict the chemical and pharmaceutical properties of small molecules to develop drugs. These are not the only cases of AI saving, or at least trying to save human lives. Almost every respectable company allocates resources to develop AI to leap ahead of the competitors, to stay one step ahead or even a dozen steps at once. For example, the AI-based search engine AlphaSense helps investment companies, banks, and Fortune 500 giants find information in transcripts, documents, news, and researches, basically curating their business strategies. Another breakthrough that is particularly covered in the 21st century is unmanned transport. The leader of this field is Newtonomy, a startup that develops the software that provides autonomous vehicles in cities around the globe. The company uses AI to combine maps, traffic planning, monitoring, and decision-making to eliminate accidents caused by drivers. At the same time, AI creates vision algorithms, software, and hardware that eventually become the eyes of autonomous vehicles. It's not surprising that autonomous cars start passing a driving test in the United States a few years ago. Soon, virtual driving licenses will be taken off the shelves. In the meantime, voice assistants are taking leading positions. According to a report by the Capgemini Research Institute, 95% of drivers will use voice assistants by 2023. The assistants will be the ones to determine the best routes. Standing out from the list is OpenAI, a nonprofit research company whose goal is to create a secure artificial general intelligence. AGI, in turn, aims to create machines with a common intelligence similar to humans. The company is sponsored by Amazon, Microsoft, Elon Musk, and Reid Hoffman. So, it isn't so bad, right? But I'm still pretty sure you have some cons. The main danger lies beyond our perception. Students at Ruhr University in Germany conducted an experiment in which they transmitted encrypted commands to the Kaldi voice assistant while an audio recording of a woman reading an article from a magazine was playing out loud. There seemed to be no spy intent in her words. In fact, there was none, but the encrypted code sounded the way that there was such an intent. The voice assistant has recognized it as a command, deactivate security camera, and unlock the front door. Such attacks have not yet become a widespread phenomenon, but such an outcome is probable. The assistants accompany us 24 hours a day, are susceptible to hacking, and the devices they control can become hacking tools. Moreover, we can only find out that there is a hack when we see its consequences afterwards. Is our private life still private? Or has Big Brother been watching you for a long time, the lucky owner of the latest iPhone and Amazon Echo? In 2019, there were several cases when, for example, Amazon Echo recorded the entire conversation in the house and sent a transcript of it in an email to a person from the cell phone's contact list. In 2017, a newsreader said, Alexa, buy me a doll's house on air. 
and the voice assistants instantly ordered all the viewers who owned Alexa and watched TV at that moment a doll's house. Microsoft employees listened not only to personal audio recordings made through the Cortana assistant, but also files uploaded to Skype. Microsoft believes they have the right to honestly eavesdrop. They even independently entered this information into the privacy policy, after they were caught, of course. Apple contractors, in addition to checking the voice messages sent by users to Siri, monitored the Apple Watch. You do not even need to say, hey Siri. The recording randomly turns on by itself from the sound of thunder, a wave of the hand, the sex sounds, conversations with doctors, or during business negotiations. Completely randomly, like in a casino. It's just the company that always wins, and along with the voice, gets your geotag information. That is, the place where the recording is made. Last year, the Uber Corporation only invested about $457 million in AI research. Considering the size of investment in AI from major players in this industry and world powers in general, then there is no doubt AI will be unrivaled in terms of prospects in five to seven years. How about the share of investment from classified projects in China, the Pentagon, and the US Army that we will never know, but certainly face consequences. Probably, AI is already gaining traction in secret research centers. It might unnoticeably change the course of history. Corporations are sensitive to the needs of their target audience and are searching for new ways to build audience loyalty. That's why virtual assistants are created the way to be very similar to people in behavior, emotions, and reactions. The humanized voice assistant helps to gain trust and credibility. Everyone wants to get the most faithful friend with unlimited potential, just like in the movie Her. In the future, corporations will effectively manipulate people with the help of voice assistants. The accuracy and effectiveness of their advertising will reach an exorbitant level. By the way, AI not only imitates the interlocutor, it performs a lot of tasks that people previously carried on their shoulders. Why do you need the ability to add numbers in your head if you have a calculator? Why do you need to remember the definition of terms if Siri gives you thousands of options in a couple of seconds? We don't even memorize our relatives' phone numbers and birth dates. We have one that reminds us of it. By the way, it will definitely not forget to give a reminder about the second cousin's anniversary while our mental process is undergoing changes and not for the better. When there is no need to develop one's mind, a person is likely to turn to creativity, but much more likely to slide back to an idle and aimless life. We want smart toasters, talking coffee makers, but do we want AI to replace and change us? This is exactly what science is moving towards. From December 2018 to October 2019, the number of fake videos created using deep fake technology increased from 8,000 to 14.7,000. The experts warn that this technology can become a serious weapon in the hands of hackers who already fabricate videos with celebrities, politicians, and businessmen. It is increasingly difficult to distinguish them from real video frames. The range of AI technologies is constantly expanding. These include unmanned vehicles, medicine, computer games, marketing, robot control, computer vision, music recognition, and others. This technology is developing just like in a classic Hollywood action movie because any progressive action is not used for peaceful purposes there. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes, Elon Musk states. The world hasn't had that many technologies that are both promising and dangerous, said Bill Gates, the Microsoft co-founder. Ignoring the warnings, humanity is just a few steps from implementing AI technologies and weapons of mass destruction primarily in nuclear weapon, cyber weapon, and drone control. The main tasks for AI technologies are the threat assessment and damage prediction, as well as using their potential in guidance. And the most important thing is to quickly develop a relevant response scenario. Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking, Noam Chomsky, Steve Wozniak, and many other scientists, businessmen, celebrities, researchers, and experts in the field of robotics and artificial intelligence signed an open letter warning weapons manufacturers against creating combat systems with artificial intelligence. It will only be a matter of time until they appear on the black market and in the hands of terrorists, dictators wishing to better control their populace, warlords wishing to perpetrate ethnic cleansing, etc. The RAND Corporation Research Center believes that AI might undermine nuclear stability by 2040. It is not surprising that today, there are fewer stories about the zombie apocalypse, the tragic evolution of genetic engineering, and nanotechnology. 
people noticed another enemy nearby, which the writer James Barat dubbed our final invention. In the eponymously named book, he colorfully depicts disappointing prospects of the people's enslavement and even destruction of mankind, as we first encounter intelligence more developed and perfect than our own. In addition, the final stage of artificial superintelligence is not defined. In theory, it can be anything. It will decide for itself what to consider its personal success. Getting freedom? Solving the problem of resource scarcity? Colonizing the universe? Right, the author assumes even such an outcome. There will be a new page in the history of the planet, but without Homo sapiens. Without Mike, you, and me. But we're not ready to give up AI assistance today. That's just too convenient. Virus protection is turned on again. You're safe.